Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to A Clash of Kings. Now, when we left off, we had just actually taken something for once. Can you believe it? No, I can't believe it either, no. We, ta we took Crow's Nest from the likes of the Stormlands, and as you can see, we have Lord Patrick Footley. He is, uh, he's, he's outside, yes. He's outside our walls, and he's just knocking on the wall, and he's like saying, mm, Lord, stumble, stumble your way out here and do battle with me. And so that's what we're doing. Yes, apparently we are doing battle with him. He actually has a friend helping him, no less. He has someone from, I think, The Reach. I think that was what the color was, at least. Seems sort of a, I don't even know. It, it seems kind of a weird color to me, but anyway. We have almost... Half. Well, we, we yes, almost half. We we are just losing five troops, and then we'd have exactly half. So that's kind of bad, I guess. But we are the defenders, so in theory, we should be completely fine. And we have a bow now, so hopefully we're gonna do a very good job with it. Well, let's see whether that's even the case. I, I actually don't think we will do a very good job with this bow because, as you can see, you can't really aim all the way down. So you're gonna need to. Yeah, you're going to need some sort of luck or something along those lines. I'm actually going to try and shoot from here, if I can. Because if we shoot from here, we might be able to shoot some in the back. Yes, very honorable combat indeed, but that's just how it is, isn't it? That's just how it is. You're going to have to sometimes shoot people in the back because, well, it is... Well, it's war, isn't it? It's war. So, yes, we're going to have to take advantage of every single possibility here. Whoa, that's a lot of people. That is a lot of people. 116 of them in actual fact. That is not good. That is actually kind of worrying. And I'm I'm not I'm not entirely sure whether we'll be able to do this, but if the stumble gods will have anything, then they will allow us to stumble over the enemy and kill them while we're falling down the hill or ladder or whatever the case may be. So hopefully that will be the case. Hopefully, hopefully. Now let's see if we can... Oh yes, a lovely headshot right there. And then a block, of course. Well, I dealt enough damage to that, guys, to hopefully make a difference anyway. Oh, there's another headshot. There we go. Now, if I can actually get... Yes, there we are. Very nice. Yes, it is the Reach. Oh, that's sad. I actually really like the Reach. I'm not entirely sure why they're deciding to go to battle with us, but I suppose they are in an alliance with Stormlands. I actually... See, when I say I like the Reach, I actually like their units. I love the Elite Reach Crossbowmen. They are just insane units. Absolutely insane. So it's really nice to use them, but unfortunately, obviously, right now, I, I can't. So, yeah, we're just using Longbowmen from Targaryen and, and various other places. But, yes, let's get our two-handed sword out and deal some damage. Yes, here we go. Ooh, who's that? Ooh, that's a heavy Reach Knight. Wow, he really knew how to take a blow, didn't he? Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Okay. Well, oh, we actually killed Patrick himself. Okay, well, that is, that's pretty impressive. I like that. I like doing that. Okay, come on, let's take out these guys before they actually get further in to the keep. I'm going to try and pick up some arrows while I'm doing this so that we at least have a little bit of a backup weapon just in case you never know when you're going to need a backup weapon. So it's always a good idea to pick up as many arrows as you can get. I'm going to try and get as many as possible. And so far, it actually seems to be going very, very well, in actual fact. I am kind of missing the kill counter present in other mods, but thankfully the casualty report will give us a good idea of how many we eliminated. I have a feeling it's going to be quite a few. As you can see, we are really destroying them right here. And the main reason, you know why the main reason is? Because they're not facing me. If they were facing me and using their shields to accurately block my strikes, then we would have such a hard time. We really would have such a hard time here. So it's really nice that they're actually not that good. Yes, isn't it? Okay, so I'm picking up many, many arrows here. I am actually taking a lot of damage, though. A lot of damage from just various random strikes that we are just getting targeted by. They are starting to face us. That's the main issue there. But is that it? Have we actually survived? Wow. Now, if we've survived and... I mean... Oh. Reinforcements. Of course. Reinforcements are coming. I have 19 extra arrows. And we will be using them to good effect. Hopefully. I'm unable to take that because my quiver only has space for 22. 
Now that is just a terrible, terrible state of affairs, isn't it? Yes, it would have been absolutely fantastic if we could take maybe 36. Yeah, maybe we're going to have to get rid of my shield and see where we can, well, get some more arrows. But, oh, I don't really want to waste them, so I'm just going to wait until those guys get up here. Are they actually coming up here? They, they, they seem to be a little bit dubious, don't they? Well, I don't blame them. It's probably not a good idea to head up here, as you can see. Yes, Elias, Lord Stumble, did a good job there. That's very nice. Okay, so maybe, maybe we'll be able to get a couple more kills with our bow. It seems like they're having some problems actually even getting up here, so not entirely sure what's going on there, but, well, I suppose we'll see in just a second. Yes. Okay, oh no, I was hoping for a kill. Yep, there we go. Okay, I really need to get more headshots. I mean, really, I really do. Uh, it's kind of sad. It is kind of sad that for some reason my headshot ability is just terrible. Ah, oh, there we go. There's a nice one. And another one. Very nice. Okay, and another. Okay, so we're getting some nice headshots in a row there. Only three. Now I'm shooting people in the shoulder. Not very effective, I suppose. Is it? Is it? It's kind of effective, I guess. But, yeah, it doesn't really do that much damage. Which is not what we want. Okay, so these guys are veteran Stormlands man-at-arms. Definitely something to, well be worried about. We don't want these guys to get in here. I'm going to try and take as many arrows as possible. Yes, there we go. Okay, so where's my... Wait. No! Did I literally just drop my... Wait. 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 Where is it? Where is my sword? There it is. Yes. Okay, so let's... Let's do this properly. Oh, now I'm dropping my bow. Are you serious? Oh, really? Come on now. This really has to... This really has to stop. This kind of terrible... Oh, there we go. Ah, okay. So now it's showing... You're not carrying any arrows. Of course, because I've now dropped my quiver. Ah, yes. Absolutely awful, isn't it? Yes. This really needs to stop. This kind of inventory management really needs to be refined, in my opinion. So hopefully we'll see that, but who knows? It's yeah, it's not looking it's not looking too good, is it? But okay, let's see. Are we able to? No. no. Oh, okay. If that was a headshot, I would have been dead. Oh, hello there. You appear to be attacking me. It's not very nice of you, is it? No. No, it's actually not very nice of you at all. In actual fact. Ah. Yeah, that's exactly the reason why I kind of like the Reach, even though I, I kind of don't like them now so much, considering we just got killed by them. So, yes, I'm actually unsure how this is going to be resolved. Yes, I guess we're going to have to see. We're going to have to retreat, even though I don't think... I mean, we basically won that. We did win that. I killed 40. 40. Stumble was able to kill 40 of them. That's actually pretty nice. And the enemy has been forced to retreat. Yes, of course they have. So, okay. I'm going to be charging after these guys immediately, thank you very much. And we're going to be taking them on in field combat, when they only have two. I probably should have just auto-resolved, shouldn't I? Yes, I should have auto-resolved, but I have a number of cavalry, so hopefully those cavalry will be able to deal with the units currently on the battlefield. Yeah, auto-resolving probably would have made a much bigger difference. And if I hadn't gotten taken out then we would have been in a really, really good spot. So, yeah, that's my bad. My bad. I really thought that his thrusting attack wasn't going to be that effective, but obviously I should have known thrusting usually does the most damage with its piercing typage, I suppose you could say. Yeah, typage. That's a very Pokemon-esque thing to say, isn't it? But anyway, it's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of right because it's got, I don't know, it's, it's piercing, cutting, and blunt. So... Yeah, I, I think that's that's kind of cool anyway. So hopefully our heavy Targaryen knights will be able to deal with the fellows that we're currently fighting here. Wow, it's both lords. Well, that's rather amusing, isn't it? If we are able to take them prisoner, then we will be in a very, a very good spot with our funds. Ooh, hello there. Yes, I'm taking you. Who is not liking me for taking this guy prisoner? Well, uh, no one that we're not already at war with, so I think we're pretty fine with that. These guys are actually kind of nice, though. Their personalities, or their personality types are kind of nice, so... Yeah, it's kind of sad that we have to take them prisoner right now, but that's just how it is. We just kind of have to. Okay, so, yes, Crow's Nest has now been defended to the best of our ability. There were actually a couple more Stormlands vassals in the area, but they ran off because apparently something else is going on over there. 
So thankfully enough, we don't have to deal with them right now. And this is kind of worrying. I actually don't know what I should do. Should I just leave? Yeah, I, I think I'm... There's the Westerlands. Is that... That's Tywin. Oh no. Is he actually going to try and siege this? He is. I... I oh, oh, okay. I'm kind of disillusioned. I'm kind of disillusioned right now because... He has a very, very powerful army, as you can see. He has 43 Westerlands Knights, and we just literally fought a Reach Vassal and a Stormlands Vassal that were just randoms, kind of. I mean, they didn't really have the best armies, so fighting this guy and this guy on top of it, that means they have 50 Westerlands Knights put together. Uh, yeah, that, uh, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to leave it. I am literally going to have to leave it because there's nothing I can do. I literally would not be able to do anything there. And House Targaryen is not helping me, so obviously that is kind of a shame. I mean, if this is the thing, if Aegon, I have no idea why he's being so stubborn, but if Aegon had decided, hey, you know what? That guy took that castle by himself. It would be a nice idea to award him for his service. If he had been a little bit quicker in awarding that to us, if he is indeed going to do that, then I would have placed those units in the garrison that I had in my army, and I would have recruited more volunteers, and it would have been, I think, probably absolutely fine. We probably have about 150, maybe even 200 units if I was lucky, in the garrison right now, and I think Tywin probably wouldn't even bother. So, it is kind of unfortunate that Aegon decided, hey, you know what, I'm going to be really slow about this, so, yeah. Uh, anyway, we have a huge amount of prisoners, so on a good note, we are going to be selling these for 6,000 coins. Very nice to see that, at least. And is there anything else here that I can kind of take? I could take some Stormlands levies, I suppose I can... Ah, oh, I can't lead anymore. Yes, exactly. I was thinking to myself, oh, I've just placed those units in the garrison. But no, I had not, because things. Yeah, because things. Okay, so am I going to head back here? Or what am I going to do? It says small bands of enemies. I, I think I think that's kind of wrong. There aren't small bands of enemies. There is a huge army nearby. And that's a couple of people from House Targaryen right here. So I'm thinking maybe we can launch some sort of attack on him. Oh, we are. Kind of. That is actually really nice. Or is it? Not really. Okay, so we're going to be joining the battle here. Oh, this is not good. Or is it? It's 82 versus 147. I don't actually think that's too bad. Is that too bad? Hmm. I'm not too sure. I am not too sure. Maybe we will be able to do something here. I don't want to go down the ladder though. No, I don't want to go down the ladder. So let's just see whether we can actually make a huge difference here. I don't know whether it will be possible. And here they come now. They are going to be coming up the ladder very, very soon. I'm going to get ready to shoot them. As you can see, they actually do have two-handed weapons, some of them at least. And that's really not going to spell a very good time for them, unfortunately. Well, I say unfortunately. Why do I say unfortunately? I, I don't think it's unfortunate for them to lose, is it? No, it's not unfortunate for them to lose. It's unfortunate for us, that's for sure. So let's see if we can actually take out a couple of these guys. I think my bow is just not good enough. It's really not good enough for this situation. So I'm just going to literally wade in here with my huge two-handed sword. And we're going to see if we can actually sway the tides of battle in our favor. If we are able to do so, then I think we might have a very, very good chance of keeping a hold of Crow's Nest. And if Aegon decides, hey, you know what, I'm not going to give this to him, I am renouncing my allegiance instantly. I am literally that close to renouncing my allegiance because how can you not award a fellow that has done his very best to support you from the very beginning and, and just take this into account, 
they were about to be eliminated. House Targaryen were about to be eliminated, and, well, we saved them. We basically saved them from certain doom. So it would be kind of nice if I would be a little bit rewarded for my efforts. Don't you think? I think so. So hopefully we're going to see that happen very, very soon. Hopefully I'm not going to take any more damage needlessly. Yes, it would be kind of sad if I was. But so far everything seems to be going quite well. We seem to be defending very, very nicely, but I'm not entirely sure whether we're going to be able to pull this off because he does outnumber us significantly. So maybe, maybe not. Well, we're going to see, I suppose. Okay, so you may think that these units are exactly the same as they were the first initial wave, but this is actually the second reinforcement wave, and there's another one! Oh my! Okay, there is serious, serious power going on here, and if we are able to actually take out Tywin's army, can you imagine? That's literally going to sway the balance of power in the Westerlands very, very heavily, so... I'm kind of I'm kind of a bit impressed about how much we're able to defend right here because as you can see all I'm literally doing is just overhead swinging the entire time we're just trying to keep ourselves out of harm's way I'm literally just trying to stay alive right now because even if we're doing minor damage we're still doing damage if we're dead we're not doing any damage that's literally my ethos right now and oh yes that's, that's basically all I can do. As you can see, we have taken out, wow, oh my, over 200 units. Now that is pretty impressive if I do say so myself. And we have 74 enemies incoming. I guess I'll see you when we're, well, getting them down a little bit more, shall we? Okay, so we're suffering a little bit of leakage right now. As you can see, many of the Westerlands units are actually deciding to hop in. Oh yes, that's, that's absolutely terrible. But, Elias has leveled to 29 so hopefully we'll be able to distribute his points after this as we might actually be ending with a very very decisive victory here we are losing quite a few of our units in the process but i feel like if we are able to defend this surely aegon's gonna see it and he's gonna be like oh that fellow is amazing even though he's quite the stumbler he is really i i literally just said uh, even though he's quite the stumbler, he is very, very proficient at what he does. Or at least I hope that's what he's going to think anyway. So, yeah. So far we have eliminated... Let me take a look at the map here. Oh, wow. I think we've won. Yeah. There we are. Three enemies remaining. So, yes, we've eliminated... Well, we... So that's the thing. We took out 74, and they are now unconscious, and 256 of them were killed. So where is the final unit? He's outside. He seems to be running around. I'm actually unsure what he's doing. Okay, I guess I'm going to go out and meet him and see what's going on there. This is going. Look at the, all the bodies. Do you see all the bodies? This is just absolutely immense amount of carnage that we have wrought here. Of course, it's all their fault. They decided to come into our territory. Well, technically, it's our newly conquered territory and take it. So it's, it's, it's all their fault. It is all their fault. So let us see if I can actually get over to this guy. I'm actually not sure what the AI is deciding to do here. He's just like, I'm just going to dance. I'm just going to dance. Can't touch this, right? That's basically what he's singing to himself. Can't touch this. And he, uh, look, he has no arrows in his shield whatsoever because no one has been able to do anything against him. Which is kind of hilarious considering now they now they get him. Now they get him in the back. Thank you very much. So there it is. A victory for, well, Elias, I suppose. Because he defended by himself. As you can see, I killed 127 of the enemy's units. Yes, that's exactly what happens when you just stand back a little bit. Use your two-handed sword smartly and cleverly. Or at least I feel like I did a pretty reasonable job. And not get yourself taken out like I usually do. Yeah, so there we go. Not bad. Not bad. He did manage to escape, which is... Oh, that is disastrous. That would have been so, so nice to actually take him prisoner. It would have been amazing, but no. Unfortunate. Not going to be able to do that. So let's take the raider horseman, thank you. And we'll take the raider leader... And some archers as well, and some outlaw archers too. Okay, so now we can take all of those guys prisoner, as many as we desire, of course. There we go. 78 prisoners now once again. 
Okay, so a Masterwork Bastard Sword too. Okay, I think I'm actually going to take that because that might actually be really nice for us. Lame Corsa, no, nothing here is actually going to be useful for us. I don't, I don't really like Lances now that they break, so I don't think I'm going to be using those anytime soon. Now, obviously the other helmets are pretty good, but I'm wearing a Targaryen helm right now, so I'm pretty fine with that. So, yeah, without further ado, I'll be ending this episode off here. Wow, that was a... That was a very intense siege, was it not? And so hopefully in the next episode we'll be awarded Crow's Nest, maybe. So I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.